Hello everyone. So a colleague uh, has requested of me to teach her how to add um, asteroids to solar fire charts. Um, so I thought it might be cool to give a tutorial here. And also solar fire is an amazing program. And if you are into astrology and holding up charts, I highly suggest solar fire. And I happen to be an affiliate. So if you want to buy solar fire, you can use my affiliate code AMW15, you get 15% off. So link to that in the description below. And if you want to learn how to add all kinds of asteroids to your charts, follow this video. So this is a uh, standard solar fire. The first thing you want to do is you go to chart options. And you go to files. Asteroid files. These are just different folders. I'm going to create new one, a uh, test file. There are 1,063 available asteroids on Solar Fire. They are not activated. You're not going to find them anywhere unless you create a file for them and then you include them, which I'll show you how to do. Um, more than any of us will ever, ever use, but just look at that. So I use. Um, Lucifer, right here, asteroid 1930. And let's just pick another random one. Okay, Praxidus. I don't know anything about this one, but let's put this asteroid. Um, if you have a favorite asteroid, it's likely in this list. Now, there is another very, very complicated way to actually download files that you can then manually add to Solar Fire, and that's not what I'm going to address in this video. Likely, more than what you need is already here. So you save. Now let's select. So test file, select. Uh, let's pull up a chart just to show you what happens. Hey, where are those asteroids? It's not there, right? It's because there's one more step, one more thing that you need to do to see them. So go back to chart options and click extra ring points. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this test file. This is not the same test file. This is saved as a different format. This is PTE, whereas the other one was some other format. Okay. Now let's edit it. These are all of the available points. Um, notice how there are different categories, right? Midpoints, fixed positions, fixed stars, um, let's go to asteroids. Ah, see what's available. Because we told Solar Fire which asteroids are available in the first step that we took. So let's click those. Now, we can make many asteroids available. Um, and we still have to add them here. Now we've selected them. Save. Now I'm going to select it. Now let's look at the chart and see if we can see them. We still can't see them because there's one more step. Go to wheel style. See this uni extra? There are four uni extras. Each one will display these extra ring points. Right, this is one particular graphic. It's A1, A2 in my view. That's not very useful. I would actually pick this one. That's what I usually use. Right. Lucifer and Praxity. <laughs> oh, look at that. Lucifer is right on my Uranus right now. And I'm in the third house, in my third house. I'm giving a solar fire tutorial. That makes a lot of sense using Lucifer too. The, the perfect synchronicitous nature of reality and astrology is ever constant. So that's how you add asteroids to your solar fire. They need to be in an extra ring point. I'll show you one more thing. Uh, just to demonstrate what I actually do um, when I pull up a chart. Let's just go over here to chart options, um, extra ring points. See this planetary nodes section? Let's edit it. These are all the planetary nodes that I've included. I also personally include Lucifer and Lilith. So these are all the extra ring points that I work with on a regular basis. 
Um, I probably shouldn't call it planetary nodes because it's not just planetary nodes, but nevertheless, that's what I use. So if I want to save that, I would save that and I select it. Now, the next time I pull up an extra uni wheel, that's what you'll see. So we have all the planetary nodes and I see Lucifer right here and Lilith. And this is, by the way, asteroid Lilith, not the black moon Lilith. So you need to, ahead of time, choose the correct extra ring wheel folder. And then when you choose the uni extra, it's going to pull up that set from that folder. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching.